In today's tutorial, we're going to talk about modules. Uh, why are we talk about modules now? Well, in the next tutorial, we're going to talk about the decimal module, and we're going to show you how to um, work with very precise floating point numbers. But before we get there, I think it'd be easier to understand the decimal module if you understand what modules are. Modules are a Python file that contains code, like functions and classes, that make our life a lot easier in coding. Um, the modules take the dry program, programming concept, which is don't repeat yourself. So if you find yourself writing a lot of code um, over and over again, then it would probably be ideal to put it into a module. So what is a module? It's a file. All right? It's a single file. Now there's something else called packages that's kind of like a module, but they contain numerous amounts of files that we can also use. But today's tutorial, we're just going to focus on modules. So we're going to create our own module, and I'm going to show you how to import it, different ways to import it into our um, interpreter here, and we're going to use it. So let's go ahead and open up your text editor. I'm going to use Sublime Text like we downloaded in the previous tutorial. I'm going to create a new file, Command N, or Control N if you're on Windows. So once I create the new file, I want to save it. So Command S or Control S if you're on Windows. And we're going to save the file to our desktop. So I'm going to bring you this down so you guys can see. And I'm going to save it to my desktop. So I chose desktop. And I'm going to name this file tests.py. .py is an indication that's a Python file. So I go ahead and save it. Now we're going to write a basic function here. And what this function is going to do is it's going to take a, a parameter or a number that we add into it and it's going to multiply it by two. It's a very simple function and our module is very simple as well. So to create a function, since we haven't talked about these before, we use the keyword DEF, DEF. And what this basically says is define a function. All right. And then we're going to name our function times. All right. And then um, parentheses. Inside there, we're going to give a parameter. Ours is going to be number. After we put the parameter in there, we're going to do the colon and then hit enter. And then it's going to bring us down the line. And notice it indents for us. Most text editors will. If you, the one you're using did not, hit the space bar four times. In here, we're going to do a print statement. So we're going to do print and then parentheses. Then we're going to use our parameter again, number. And we're going to do times two. Go ahead and save your file by Command S or Control S. And now we actually created a module. Now this module is on our desktop. So what we're going to need to do is go to um, our terminal. And if you're in the Python interpreter, hit Control D. This is going to take us out of the interpreter. Now we need to CD or change directories into our desktop so we can access that file. So we're going to CD dot dot back because I'm in programs. Now I'm in desktop. If you were just in your regular uh, home um, destination, you could do CD desktop, CD desktop like this, and it will change the file for you. So once you're in your desktop, we can do Python 3. Open up our interpreter again. All right, now we opened it up. Now we can do import test. All right, we don't have to put the PY, just import test. Now it's going to import it. Now, if you can see your desktop, there's a file that popped up that has underscore pi cache underscore. Um, if you want to take a moment and look on your desktop, a file that has underscore pi cache just opened up, and that is how they cache our information that we're putting into our file or how we're using our file. All right, anyway, um, we import test. This is one way to do it. Now, how do we actually use the function? Well, we just do test dot um, times because we're calling our function. So we're saying in the test here it says test. So in the test file that we import it up here, test, go to times, times function, and then we're going to add a parameter. Oops, I need to be on here. We're going to add a parameter, and we're going to put five. 
All right, inside the parentheses, hit return, and it returns 10. All right, so what happened there? So we went into our times uh, dot py file, file then we, our test dot py file, I'm sorry. Then we went to times, then we added number five in here, so it kind of looked like this, five, all right? And then down here we say print, and it brings in five, like that, all right? So I'm gonna put this back because we're gonna still need this. All right, so that's one way to import a module. Another way would be import test, oh, I'm sorry, from test, from test, import times. It's another way to import it. And now we could just use times like this, times, and we do five. All right, it gives us 10. Notice we don't need to use test now because we said from test, import times. So we are importing times the function itself. Now, if we had multiple functions in here, we would um, only be able to access times. All right? um, and the one, probably one of the most popular ways to do this is from test import star, and that's import all. So we import all the functions or classes that are contained in our module, and then we just do times five, and we get ten. All right, so basically what we did in this tutorial is we created a module. So if I say I was multiplying numbers constantly by number two, then I probably write a module and import a function that allowed us to multiply numbers by five. So if I did like times, or by two, I'm sorry, four, I get eight. So it makes my life a lot easier than saying eight times, or four times two, four times two all the time, I can just do times four, all right? So, I mean, in this case, it's probably easier to write up four times two, but this is just a lesson on modules and how they work. So now that you see how we import um, modules, which is a big one, is how you import it. If you just do import tests, then you need to include test dot times and then your parameter where if we went from test import times, then we just need times and then five, or we can do from test import um, all and then times five. Um, this method, if you're just using one function, this is probably not the preferred method. If you're gonna be using a bunch of uh, functions and classes from a module, then this might be your preferred method. If you're just gonna be using one function, then you might as well import this one it will speed up your program. You are not importing a bunch of functions and classes at a time. If you have any questions about modules, please leave a comment on our form at mastercode.online. Otherwise, join us for the next tutorial on decimals or the decimal module. See you then.